if the secant of an angle is negative and the cosecant of that same angle is negative, then what quadrant or quadrants must the angle be in? So if we think about the definition of trig functions, we have any angle measured in the positive direction from the positive x-axis. So let's just draw an angle in any quadrant. Then we pick any point along this side and make a right triangle where the perpendicular is attached to the horizontal. This angle in the right triangle with vertex of the origin is called the reference angle. The length from the vertex to this point is the hypotenuse of the right triangle. We call it the radius. It's always positive. And then the side lengths are the coordinates of this point. But one or both of these coordinates could be negative. In this case, y is negative, x is positive. For any angle in any quadrant, secant is r over x. Since r is always positive, we can see that secant will be negative in quadrants 2 or 3. Cosecant is the reciprocal of sine, which for any angle in any quadrant is r over y. So cosecant is negative in quadrants 3 or 4. Therefore, the only quadrant where both secant and cosecant can be negative is quadrant 3.